In this video, I'm gonna share seven lucrative side hustles that you can start in 2021, even if you are still working in a day job. What's going on? My name is Sean Anthony. If you are here for the first time, I share content on this channel around helping creators generate a full-time internet income. In this video, I'm gonna share seven side hustles that you can start this year with 100K or more earning potential. And you could still be working in a day job and start these side hustles in your, in your free time when you get home from work or whatever extra hours you have every day. So let's jump right into this. And number one is start a YouTube channel. There are YouTube channels about literally everything. And the trick and key to this uh, in 2021, if you wanna start a YouTube channel, is to find the intersection between your skills, your knowledge, your expertise, and what the audience, what people wanna know about as well, okay? So don't just go and just create something you're passionate about. If no one wants to see the same thing, you're not gonna get any views. So make sure there is an overlap between your skills, your knowledge, your expertise, or something that you wanna learn more about and document your journey. Make sure that there is an overlap with an audience who wants to learn more about that and see content around that. If you found the intersection, then you can start creating your YouTube channel right there around that topic. Now there's two people who came to mind uh, around starting this part-time and growing it to massive, massive numbers. The first is a channel called Dad How Do I? And all this channel is, it's a guy, he started just shooting videos on his iPhone in 2020. And his story is he grew up without a dad and he wanted to create content helping other young men who maybe didn't have a dad, teaching them useful skills around the house. So he has a recent video, uh, I don't know if this is a house skill, but how to make biscuits. So he's teaching these skills to young men. I don't know if that's a good skill to teach a young man, but he's just teaching people these skills and it's very basic videos. So you wouldn't think that this is a channel that would go viral, but he has 3.16 million subscribers in less than a year. And that is mind blowing, okay? So the second person is a guy named Ali Abdal. And he his story is he was going through doctorate school to become a doctor. He, I think he still works as a doctor right now as his day job. And through Throughout medical school, he was posting YouTube videos about productivity, about life as a medical student and life going through school. And he was just shooting videos about that and documenting his journey. And now he has over 1.5 million subscribers. And I know he posted an income report. He made over a million dollars from his YouTube channel, selling courses and providing content and getting sponsorship deals and doing reviews and affiliate marketing and a few of the other things that we'll talk about on this list. But it all started with him just shooting videos while he was still going to medical school and coming home and creating these videos and editing them. And now he has a million dollar plus business just from shooting videos. And again, I think he still works as a doctor during his daytime, during his day job. So crazy, crazy stuff. And the thing I like about YouTube the most is that you can document your journey. So even if you're not like a total expert on something yet, you can document your journey of learning and people love to see that. So I would consider what Ali Abdal did. He was documenting his journey and just learning along the way and showing people his work and showing people what he was doing as he took each step. And people love to see that. So that's number one, start a YouTube channel. Now, number two on this list of lucrative side hustles for 2021 is freelancing. So I recently read this report that by 2027, the year 2027, more than 50% of the entire workforce will be freelancers. So that is, that's huge. And after 2020, where more people are working online, more people are looking for remote work and looking for remote workers, this is gonna be even bigger. This industry of freelancing is gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, what is freelancing if you don't know? All you're really doing is learning a skill, you're finding clients who need that skill, and you're offering your skill set as a service to those clients and getting paid for that skill. Now, the best thing about freelancing is you can work remotely, you can choose your own hours, you can choose how many clients you wanna work with, right? If you want to make more money, you can charge more or take on more clients based on your skill level. And as far as learning the skills, you can learn any skill that you want basically for free or for very cheap these days. So if you go on my YouTube channel, if you wanna learn, for example, email copywriting or how to write emails that sell, you can learn a lot of that for free on my YouTube channel. Everything from the skill itself to how to get clients. I talk about that on my YouTube channel. Let's say you wanna learn about video editing. So I just set up this new studio here and I got this new camera. I was learning how to do video editing. I hired a new editor, but in order to learn that, I just, I went on YouTube and I learned those skills basically for free. Now let's say you wanna speed things up. You want a more packaged product where you can learn step-by-step you might go to a platform like Udemy or Skillshare, or you might buy a low ticket product from someone like me. I have something called the Super Fast Sales Email Challenge that teaches you how to write an email that sells for $29. You can get products pretty cheap and learn these skills pretty cheap and then offer it to clients for thousands of dollars a month sometimes. Basically anything that you want online, either for free or a very low price, right? There's 
not really any, any excuse to not learn something that you really want to know about. And you can offer that skill set to clients who are looking for that. This Wednesday, I'm actually going to talk about how to get freelance clients, how to start a freelance business, and actually how to find job boards where people are hiring for certain skills. So if you're interested in that, make sure you watch the video on Wednesday. I'll talk about exactly how to do that. Now, the other great thing about freelancing is you get to document your journey, right? So you're helping clients, you're helping them get results with your skill set. You're getting paid to learn and you're getting paid to improve your skill set. And you can share this on platforms like Twitter or Quora or Facebook. And you can start a group or community around the skill that you're learning and around this freelance business that you're creating and eventually move into, into selling your own digital products or selling your own courses or educational products. So that is number two, freelancing. Okay, so number three on this list is affiliate marketing. Now, if you don't know what affiliate marketing is, it's basically making money from recommending other people's products and services. Now, the reason why affiliate marketing is so great is let's say that you started a YouTube channel and you're creating content, you're building your audience, and you're likely already using a bunch of different products and services to run your, your YouTube channel or to create content, right? Let's just say like, for, for example, this camera, or maybe if you're in the fitness space, you have supplements that you take, food that you eat, equipment that you use, software that you use. You can recommend these, these products and services that you already use to your audience and get paid a commission off of that. So a lot of these big influencers with hundreds of thousands of subscribers, this is how they monetize, right? They recommend products and services to their audience for their favorite brands and they get paid a commission for that. So affiliate marketing, I don't think it's the best side hustle if you don't have an audience, if you're not creating content. Uh, I think it's great if you are building that audience and you are creating content so that people want to know what you're using, right? What kind of products that you're using, what kind of equipment you're using or software. And you can create tutorials around that, reviews, you can create different comparison videos and recommend your favorites out of those. So affiliate marketing, number three. Number four on this list of side hustles that are lucrative in 2021 is teaching and online education. So the online education industry, I don't have to tell you, multi-billion, multi-multi-billion dollar industry. And after 2020, there are more people learning at home than ever before, getting homeschooled, getting virtual schooled. There are coding boot camps popping up that teach people how to learn software development and how to create apps. There are business boot camps. There are people who are teaching and educating people through their YouTube channel and creating courses around that. I think you don't have to be the top, top expert in your field to teach someone and help someone through online education, right? As long as you can help someone get a meaningful result in their life or their business, I think that you can create some kind of online educational product where you're teaching someone and helping them improve their life through your specialized knowledge, expertise, or skill set. Now, there's so many interesting models popping up. Like this year, I saw something called the cohort based courses, where there's a start and end date. It's kind of like a college course, there's a start and end date and there's a small group of people who are working towards the same goal together in this small group. I'm a part of two different cohort-based courses right now, and I love the model. I'm gonna create my own in the next one or two months from now. And I love the way that this works because it helps people to take action and implement together as a group and helps everyone stay accountable and moving forward and building momentum together. Cohort-based courses, interesting model that I, that I found out about this year. And I think we're only gonna see an explosion in online education in the next three to five years because more and more people are moving online and moving to online education versus just traditional college and going in person to schooling that way. Number five is just being a content creator. So there's so many platforms out there now, right? So this year alone, Clubhouse has exploded. There's TikTok, there's Snapchat, there's Instagram, there's Twitter, there's YouTube, there's Facebook groups. There's so many different platforms where you can just pick one and become a content creator where you're just creating content about a certain topic in a certain industry or niche and just sharing value and sharing your journey in that specific area. And there's so many ways you can monetize from there. So you can layer being a content creator with affiliate marketing, with teaching and online courses, with freelancing even right? Finding, finding clients through sharing content who, of people who want to hire you for your skill set. So being a content creator, I think everyone should be a content creator nowadays because everyone has something to share. And it also forces you to learn more and more things every day because you need to learn more to, in order to create more content. Being a content creator, I think the way that you do it is you pick a platform, you pick what you want to write about or speak about or shoot videos about, and just be consistent with publishing valuable content. And every day you should be learning new things as well so that you can teach 
teach new things through your content as well. So that's number five, being a content creator. So number six is paid email newsletter. And really all this is, is if you have specialized knowledge or expertise in a certain area, you're charging people for access to your premium insights through your email newsletter. So let's just say that you are in personal finance and you are very knowledgeable about investing with Robinhood and stocks. You could have an email newsletter where people pay you $10 a month to see your best stock picks on Robinhood. Okay, and that's that you can build a big business off of just this email newsletter. So in the last year, there's a company called Substack that really popularized this email newsletter model, this paid email newsletter model, and they, they blew up in the last year or so. And all they do is they make it easy for you to create a paid email newsletter where people can pay you on a monthly or annual recurring basis for your premium insights through email. And I think that email is going through this, it's, it's funny because emails, everyone always says it's dead, it's going down, but now it's going through this revival period in a ton of creators, people who create content and and products on the internet are now going to this paid email newsletter model. So if you have something valuable to share, or if you have expertise in a certain area or something you're passionate about, a paid e email newsletter is a great lean way to start, especially if you like to write. If you like to write emails, or if you like to write period, a paid email newsletter is a great way to do that and get paid and to monetize your expertise and monetize your audience. Now, number seven on this list, the final side hustle on this list of seven lucrative side hustles for 2021 is to start a membership. So it could be as simple as opening up a Facebook group and just charging people for access to that community. And I recently saw this, this Facebook group, it had over 10,000 people in the group. And I know it was a premium group, I think it was $5 a month or so. And there was around succulent plants, okay, plants. So people were paying $5 a month to be in this group. There was over 10,000 people in it. That's a $50,000 per month plus income, all from a group about plants. So <laughs> as long as there is passion around a certain topic, if there is an audience around it, you can create a membership around that and charge on a monthly basis for someone to be a part of that. So it could be as simple as a Facebook group, or you could have a course area too, right? Kajabi or Teachable or Thinkific where you put some video lessons into a course area and then charge people to be a part of a community in a Facebook group or a Slack channel. So memberships are great. I started one last year, although I'm tweaking it a bit this year. And it's great because it gives you that recurring income. So every single month you are getting paid from your members and people come and go, but that recurring income is, it's, a, it's very comforting knowing that you have money coming in every month and knowing that you have a group of people who share your interests in a certain community or a certain topic. So if you enjoyed that list and you got value out of those top seven lucrative side hustles for 2021, give me a like and do me a favor, go in the comments, let me know out of these seven side hustles, which one are you going to be focusing on? Which one interested you most? And which one do you think that you could do well in in 2021? Let me know in the comments. In the next video this Wednesday, I'm gonna talk more about freelancing and how to get started as a freelance writer. If that's something that you, a side hustle that you wanna get started with or you wanna start freelancing online, I'll be talking about how to get started with that step-by-step, step, even if you're a beginner and how to get clients and all that this Wednesday on this next Writing Wednesdays episode. So if that's interesting to you, make sure you stay tuned, look out for that video. I will see you in the next one. Take care.